too furry. Nothing fancy. Yes. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Jimu here. Today we have the new Radical Bonus Pearl. Barker is back and he'll compare this bonus pearl to the original bonus. Today we'll be bowling on beaten path. It's 41 feet, about five to one ratio. It's a bit more difficult from your typical house pattern, but you can still get your ball to hook and shoot some big scores. Both of these feature the bonus core, but this one has a pearl cover stock and this one has a solid one. Just like most pearls, we expect this ball to go a bit longer, a bit sharper, but have a similar amount of overall hook. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's send it to Barker on the lanes. Today we got the new Radical Bonus Pearl. So we're not going to start with the pearl just yet, we're going to start with the solid, just to kind of get a baseline to see where we need to play on this pattern. We're back on beaten path, 41 feet. This is the same pattern, the same lane we played on with the previous video for the Proof Hybrid. So it's a little burnt up now. This is where a ball like a bonus or a bonus pearl is really gonna come into play. So we're gonna be significantly straighter on this one. Picks up a lot in the mid lane. Really controllable shape down lane. It's not gonna do anything crazy, nothing fancy. It's gonna give you the mid lane control that you're looking for. Well, let's switch to the bonus pearl. the same line. Uh, we should get a little less early hook and a little more shape down length. Yeah, there you go. A little more, a uh, little quicker response off the friction. Kind of went through the face a little bit there. Uh, we can give it a little bit more room, so let's move a little bit to the right, a little bit more into the pattern. We'll give it a little bit more room to the left. Definitely seems like the type of ball that once it starts to dry it a little bit, you're gonna see more overall hook out of this one. On the fresh, I think you're gonna get more hook out of the solid, but once it's burned up a little bit, the pearl is gonna give you a little more, uh, a little more motion down there. Yes. <laughs> little light mixer there. Uh, to be fair, it was a little bit fast. It got a little bit to the left, but still recovered pretty good. So for the last video, we asked you what your first bowling ball was. Today, I'm gonna ask you, what's the most recent ball that you bought? Let us know in the comments below. So let's back the speed out a little bit and see if we can get that ball to face up a little bit better. Carry on that one. So the bonus pearl features the forged pearl cover stock for all you radical fans out there. That's the same cover that's on the original katana. So it's a high-end cover stock, lower differential, more controllable core shape. Good pin action on that one. <laughs> Let's try the bonus solid on the same line that we just threw the bonus pearl. See what happens with this one. About the same number of boards covered, just a very different shape. That's much earlier and more tame, more of a rounder shape. You get a little more kick off the back of the pattern with the pearl. So depending on the type of center that you bowl in, whether it's high friction or low friction, one of these balls should fit in your bag in that spot where you're looking for a controllable ball when the lanes have broken down just a little bit. For a center like we bowl at here at Lucky Nine, the solid gets a lot of play. So the pearl with the, the surface out of the box is for me probably going to provide a little too much length on most patterns so a little bit of surface taking some of that polish off is going to be ideal so let's jump another five right and slow the speed down with the solid and then we'll try and throw a strike with the pearl on the same line it's okay that one checked and went early i think we throw the pearl on the same line i'll get the length of the front that i'm looking for and that should strike. You just get so much traction in the mid lane on that bonus solid, that sometimes once you've broken it down too much, the, the box surface is a little too furry. So a same shot with the bonus pearl. Baby lock on this one. Baby lock. I think it's gonna need it. Air 
through the front, just kind of get that ball to push a little bit easier. If you get that ball down a little too soon, it wants to hook a little too hard when it's burnt up a little bit. All right, so that's enough out here. Let's send it back to the shop. Final <laughs> set! <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back from the lanes. We compare the bonus pearl here against the original bonus solid. As expected, a little more length out of the bonus pearl with a little sharper change of direction. Overall, though, a similar amount of boards hooked, just a different hook shape. So we tried some different angles with both of these balls. We tried moving a little bit further right and a little bit further left closer to the gutter. Both balls looked a little bit better overall if I played a little straighter and closer to the gutter. Playing a little bit further left is ideal for me just based on the lower hook potential of the bowling balls. Now for all you righties out there, it might look a little bit better moving more into the middle of the pattern once the pattern breaks down a little bit. I think that's where both of these balls are gonna look really good for the righties. For lefties, trying to keep my angle straighter, I like to play a little bit further left and closer to the gutter for that reason. So that being said, when I moved a little bit further right and try to get more into the middle of the pattern, the bonus pearl looked a little bit better going through the pins. We got the same amount of overall hook, but more mid lane read with the bonus solid and not so much finish further down the lane. So if the pattern makes you gravitate more towards the middle of the lane, the bonus pearl will be a more ideal option than the bonus solid, just because you get a little bit more natural length and a little bit more continuation through the pin. So final thoughts, uh, if you're a higher rev rate bowler or you bowl in a bowling center that has more friction, more built in hook, uh, bonus Pearl is going to be a more ideal option than the Bonus Solid. The Bonus Solid is a really good option for keeping your angles straight, but once you start to move into the pattern, it doesn't finish well through the pins. You're going to get a lot of mixers, probably a lot of weak corner pins. You're going to kick them out with the Bonus Pearl. All right, everyone, make sure you like and subscribe and comment below. What's the most recent bowling ball that you purchased? All right, that's it for me. Next week, we got Jungo back with the reality. 900 Global, baby. Oh, that was sweet. Beast from Storm. Don't need no edits. That was sick. Did that carry? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time.